What's going on, YouTubers? Good dang 775, Justin Molly Boy in Texas, back with another video. Today, I'll be doing a dual review, or two reviews in one video, of the Xbox Duke Hyperkin uh, controller. Okay, wired controller. And also the Steel Series Arctis 3 console edition gaming headset. Okay, so first off, the controller. Okay, there's not much really to say about this controller other than the fact that it brings back a flood of nostalgia okay when the original Xbox came out um, a lot of people were kind of repulsed confused and enamored with the design of the original Xbox controller in my opinion now I could be wrong because it was such a behemoth and it's still to this day it is still such a behemoth for someone like me small to medium hands um, this controller is hasn't been the best for me now, for other people out there, for medium to larger hands, is this controller will work just fine. The buttons can be remapped, and I also like the fact that I'm not turning on. Was it turn on? Okay, there we go. I also like the fact that you got this little little animation there at the center of this controller. Okay, and the f the cord itself, it is nine feet, and it's pretty durable for the most part. Okay, but if you have cats like I do, they tend to like to chew the wire, especially if you're you're you know have gaming and having fun and whatnot. So, so be careful if you got animals, um, especially cats or um, dogs too. Dogs are they do it too. But um, the performance of the controller is hands down better than say like a wireless controller. I can tell you that. Um, things move faster. Okay, less latency and whatnot. Um, you hit that A button, it, it automatically hits it right there. There's no lag, no delay, and whatnot. Uh, for the most part, it's a wired controller. Okay, wired controllers usually tend to do better than wireless controllers. So, for me, okay, it's a great controller. Not the best because I've got small, smaller hands. So, it does not really, what do you call that? It's really tough, especially when I was like, playing State of Decay 2 and whatnot. Reaching for the bumpers now you can remap the, remap the button because there's six buttons right here Okay, that that's that's good. Okay, you can remap your your left and right buttons up here Or you can change the buttons however you want But state of decay to um, To run and to what do you call that and stuff you can hit these buttons up here it's, I gotta kind of stretch up a little bit again. I'm just nitpicking at this thing. Okay, it's a controller So what can I say so? It's a controller. I've used it on my Xbox One X predominantly and my neighbor's Xbox One S and they work. It works perfectly. Okay. Great controller. If you're into nostalgia, this is a must buy. Now I kind of watch out, especially on Amazon. A lot of price scalpers, eBay, they're selling it anywhere from eighty to a hundred dollars. Now if you really want the controller and that's the only place you can get it brand new. By all means, get it there. I'll also leave a link down below to my link, my overpriced link, okay? Fair warning. Now, if you go check your local GameStops, I know they're in trouble and whatnot. I found mine at my local GameStop, and it was on uh, its normal price at $69.99. So, I don't recommend paying over $69.99 unless you really want the controller, okay? But, yeah, that was the Duke Hyperkin Xbox One controller. My Duke Hyperkin Xbox One controller review, okay? Um, one out of five, one being crap, and five being the best thing ever since the day I was born. This gets a four out of five for me. Okay, that's nostalgia and whatnot. But on for my size and what I do with it, it's not the best. So, the best would probably be my Elite controller. That's that's the best performance-wise. Okay, now on to the Steel Series Gaming Three Console Edition headset. Okay, Steel Series Arctis Three Console Edition gaming headset now I've tested this predominantly on my Xbox one X my ps4 pro and my mobile device here which is my LG G7 reviews coming in another four to five days okay so what I can tell you let me start off with the mic quality okay I'm gonna talk about the mic quality this is steel series Arctic 3 clear cast mic I tell you for a fact the mic is good okay I played with a few friends of mine for a few hours. Listen to this audio clip real quick right here. Okay, this is a sample of the mic. This is from my SteelSeries Arc3 Gaming Headset Console Edition. This is being recorded 
via my LG G7 HD audio recorder. So this is a sample how it sounds and I can tell you for a fact I've gamed with a few buddies of mine um, and they vouched saying that this headset can be heard clearly and I could hear them perfectly as well as long as the internet connection held up and whatnot but for the most part the mic on this thing this clear cast mic is fantastic okay that was my little snit about the mic now I want to talk about build quality build quality is good you got this little ski goggle band here um, which which actually does alleviate pressure points if you adjust it from here you can adjust it right here it's very easy it's velcro and when you sit it on top of your head it does alleviate pressure points um, compared to others like other bands like this is the Razer Electra V2's they'll sit on your head now it does not form painful pressure points but you'll just feel them know they're, you know they're there but these it's pretty much non-existent I've wore these for like three and a half four hours straight okay um, in one sitting and I felt nothing okay I felt nothing on the top of the head now on my the side of my head that's another story okay this is called air weave I think I think they call it air weave now this is not leather or faux leather or whatnot this is feels like cloth or cotton or something the thing is after hours of use you are gonna sweat okay every headset over your headset you are gonna sweat but if there's a breeze or a fan coming through um, the air they totally describe what this is air breathes this thing breathes okay your ear gets hot but you can still feel you know like air and it's not gonna be totally totally it's not gonna suck okay like two hours three hours of these with this leather headset okay these might feel better to the touch but these get really hot these get hot but at least they breathe I don't know this air weave I think it lets air in I don't know I can't describe the feeling um, so far comfort wise when I um, compare to these two the Razer Electra V2's I prefer the Steel Series Arc 3 with no no you know no pressure on top of the head and this air, this ear cup right here it just breathes breathes air you can feel it okay I think these air um, these ear cups are fantastic now build quality I say they're about the same I mean it's got some stretch to it I'm not gonna play with it and twist it like other youtubers these this is my personal headset I've purchased my own money I'm not gonna do any torture tests or bending and whatnot I don't want to break it okay I don't want to break it it's mine I don't want to mess it up and I like the fact that they these these head this headset does swivel and I like, also like the fact that this mic does retract now like my Razer Electra V2 okay here you have to detach it. You can just pull this off and you can put it somewhere. The thing is you can lose it and whatnot. Um, this thing has the controls to mute the mute the mic is on here. Okay, you can mute it or yeah, mute the mic and you got your volume button right there. So it's fairly simple for the most part. Okay, now the most important aspect of the headset, okay, the headset is the sound quality. I'm gonna talk about, let me talk about the sound quality. Now, the SteelSeries Arcus 3 gaming headset does share the S1 drivers. The S1 drivers are basically the same internals as the Arcus 5 and Arcus 7. So you got the same drivers in um, the lowest end headphones to the highest end two, three hundred dollar headphones. And that's a big deal because for the most part music voice and whatnot they sound good they sound clear okay bass is clean mids and highs they're balanced for the most part do then again voices can overpower the music just a little just a little that's what I've heard from my um, console 3 I don't know I mean you can tweak it especially if you hook this up say um, I know I haven't tried this out with my PC I, I mainly tested it out with my um, my P Xbox One X, my PS4 Pro, and my LG G7 or my mobile phone, I haven't tested it out on my PC. But I know on PC there's um, they call it Engine 3 software. I think that's Steel Series like um, um, app or desktop app that you can use to tweak this headset. Now Razer got something just similar called the Razer Surround software. Um, simulate 7.1 sound. Okay. But on the Xbox One X, you got Windows Sonic Pro, which simulates simulates 7.1 surround sound. So, um, 
for the most part, you're not gonna really need all that for the PC. This is mainly a console edition, console gaming headset. So when it comes to sound, it's it's fantastic. Okay, you're not gonna be disappointed with these. Uh, when it compares to sound, compared to the Razer Lecter V2s, that's a toss-up because sound is subjective. I can tell you what the one gaming headset that beats both of these, okay, that beats both of these in my opinion, is the HyperX Cloud Core gaming headset. I did a review on these a while ago. I gave these away to my fam uh, family friend and I kind of regret that because that was the best sounding gaming wired gaming headset that I've ever had. Wired gaming headset. Um, compared to these two and especially that one I think when I bought that headset it, uh, it was like 70 bucks and I think it's that's what it's worth right now $70. Even at that $70 price point and this is 60 and this is 70 that's number one right there. That headset is number one. When I have to think, and it's a toss up between two and three, okay? You could toss a quarter and just got heads or tails, and this could be number two, or this could be number two, or, or this could be number three, and vice versa. You know, you, you, it's a toss up. But the one thing that I would choose before, uh, I would choose, like, out of these two headsets, okay? I would probably choose the Razer Electra V2s because mainly because of the price per performance okay sixty dollars seventy dollars sixty seventy um these are pretty much they're all right right up and up on the same level now i have gotten requests to do reviews on the astro a10s and compare all of these together and that's a very very good and logical question i'm thinking i'm thinking i am going to pick up the astro a10s that way i can have a three-way bet three-way battle between these three headphones okay um but first off like i said the hyper x cloud core is number one now for number two and three that's subjective okay but this for the most part is the steel series arc history gaming handset worth seventy dollars my opinion no okay it's the same performance literally as the Razer Lecture V2s. Now, if the SteelSeries Arcus 3 Consolation Gaming headset goes on sale for $60, $60, $60, then yes, it's worth $60. But if at, at its $70 price point, I wouldn't recommend buying it at that $70 price point. There are cheaper gaming headsets like the Razer Lecture V2s that sound very similar on the same level and cheaper to at ten dollars uh, um ten dollars less that's just my opinion um as you folks know i'm a street shooter um even though i bought this product and i'm gonna try and get people to buy this product i'm gonna tell you straight up the razor electric v2s are are the better buy plain and simple if you already got the razor electric v2s don't worry you're good where you're at now if you're looking for a gaming headset and you like you prefer one brand over another then i can see you going with something like steel series so but yeah this good thing 775 that was my Dual review of the Xbox One X Duke Hyperkin, the Xbox One X, Xbox One Duke Hyperkin um, wired controller, and the Steel Series gaming uh, console gaming headset console edition Arctis 3 headset. And now, if I had to pull a number, being one being absolute crap and five being the best thing ever since the day I was born, this headset would get a four out of five. Okay. Mainly because of the price point, price per performance. Seventy dollars, I don't think it's worth the price. Sixty, now we're talking. But yeah, it's a good thing. Seven seven five, just the my boy in Texas. Uh, hope you folks like this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button. And let me know in the comments down below. I do appreciate the criticism. It's a good thing. Seven seven five. Thanks for watching. Peace out.